The idea to create a unified economic area stretching from Lisbon on the Atlantic coast to Vladivostok on the Pacific is being viewed more and more insistently as the crucial factor in providing sustainable development and political stability on the continent of Eurasia. It is evident that the idea cannot become a reality in the 21st century unless a modern, technologically advanced transportation network is built that includes high-speed railways. That is why the Trans-Siberian and the Baikal Amur railways are being modernized today in the Russian Federation. There are also plans to build high-speed railways connecting cities in China and the Russian city of Vladivostok with the countries of Europe. The latter project is named Eurasia Railway. However, the railroad infrastructure existing in central Russia and stretching into Belarus and the countries of the European Union does not meet the technological requirements of modernity. For instance, today it takes 10 hours to cover the distance of 720 kilometers between the capitals of Russia and Belarus by train, the average speed being about 70 kilometers per hour. The distance of 860 kilometers between Minsk and St. Petersburg is covered in about 14 hours, the average speed being 65 kilometers per hour. A high-speed railroad makes it possible to cover these distances in three hours or even less. There is an understanding that the task of creating new transportation networks is urgent, which is reflected in the decisions made by the executive and legislative bodies of the Union State of Russia and Belarus. One project suggests the idea of building a high-speed railway line between St. Petersburg and Hamburg, connecting the capital cities of Minsk, Warsaw and Berlin. This line could become a part of the Pan-Eurasian High-Speed Transportation Network. All the above explains why we developed the Magistral Main Line project that is presented further. Currently, the preferred method for transportation of goods from West Europe to Russia is by road trains or by water using the Baltic Sea routes. However, the movement of road trains is slowed down considerably due to the necessary customs procedures, which increases travel time and affects the environment unfavorably. On the Baltic Sea, too, the vessel traffic has reached peak levels. It has long been known that the Danish Straits are too crowded because the paths of trade vessels often cross with those of many passenger ferries. That is why it is not surprising that logistics and transportation companies have long been searching for novel methods to carry cargoes and passengers faster and more cost-effectively. The new Magistral Main Line presents a solution to the above problem. This railroad will connect the twin cities of Hamburg and St. Petersburg that are major trading ports of Europe with a long history of economic partnership. The new Main Line will increase two-way cargo traffic quite considerably. One section of the Main Line will pass through Minsk, thus creating a sort of capital cities triangle that will connect Moscow, St. Petersburg and Minsk. Loading and unloading facilities are to be built not only in St. Petersburg and Hamburg, but along the main line as well. The project consists in building a new high-speed double-track railroad having a standard gauge and interchanges that provide for independent crossing of waterways and highways. What is more important, the main line is rerouted around busy railway junctions, especially those located in big cities. railway stations along the main line, the new facilities provide for fast loading, unloading of containers. All processes are operated automatically by robotic equipment. The technology of ballastless tracks, novel for Russia and Belarus, will be employed in construction due to increased requirements for high-speed railway performance. Fiber optic cable will run along the new main line and other facilities will be added such as pneumatic tube post. It is planned to provide for fencing off the protective zone along the main line. High-speed trains will comprise 8 to 12 cars. The main line will provide for running speeds of no less than 350 to 400 kilometers per hour for passenger and cargo trains. When completed, the main line will make it possible to travel from St. Petersburg to Minsk in about two hours. 
and from St. Petersburg to Hamburg in eight hours. The estimated cost of the project is 30 billion euros. Funding the project is supposed to be done jointly by own capital investment, investments by banks or foundations supported by export agencies, and credits from suppliers. The project's business model is of corporate character. The operator will be a transnational corporation with investment capital shared equally by the participants. The countries involved will be Russia, Germany, Belarus and Poland. Not only does the Magistral project help find a solution to the logistics challenges of today, but it also serves as a factor boosting the growth of urban agglomerations on the territory of all participating countries, from Russia to Germany. The new high-speed line will increase the mobility of the population living outside capital cities and provide for better commuting options. Thus, new businesses will emerge, leading to higher employment rates and better living conditions. And the resulting synergy will affect industry, digital technologies, tourism, trade, and social and other spheres. The St. Petersburg to Hamburg high-speed mainline is not just another business venture in the field of transportation. It is a response anticipated for long to the challenges of modernity.